Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. Okay, so here's uh, another tank that I've done. It's all um, 3D printed. It's a bit of an upgrade from the last one. This one's got an RFID scanner in it. It's running on an Arduino Uno. So it's totally autonomous. I, I, I can't drive it while it's going along. It just does its own thing. So it's got the line following sensor as well. So what we've got here is set up a little track for it. And it's just gonna go along the track and then come back. So as I, as I mentioned, it's got an RFID scanner. So little tags on the track. Um, that can trigger little responses for it to do. Okay, and here we go. Right, so these, these little tanks, they're quite cool. Um, they do go around the track sort of fairly well. It's a little bit jumpy. Uh-oh. Right, okay, so we just crashed. There we go. I don't know what this thing's doing. Okay, so as you can see, the tanks are getting slightly bigger. This is the original tank. That's the tank version 2.4. Right, so, I mean, I could keep making these a little bit bigger, trying to fit more stuff in. But I think the only way really to do is to make a bigger tank. So, what I have done here is a hoverboard wheel. Scale up these wheels by about 300%. Stick it over the top of the wheel, scale up the tracks, and it all fits okay. Um, yeah, so it's going to take a little while to get all these done, so I thought I'd just do a stage one, stage one video today. Um, once we've got some more tracks, obviously we could try turning them around and see what sort of load they can hold, but holding on it and pulling it really hard, they seem pretty strong. And they don't need any bolts either, they just clip them together. Right, so this is the wheel. Um, it's got two stages of inside level. So we've got that one and that one, and what happens is... I take off the back plate, slide the wheel over, screw the back plate back on, and that's it, jobs are good. Enough. So the tracks, they do stick in there quite nice. And we've got more tracks printed over here. As you can see, two hours, 40 minutes, and they're still not finished yet. So, yeah, so that's it for this video. Um, if you liked it, and you want to see this tank when it's actually running, don't forget to subscribe. And, that's it, I'll see you on the next one.